<laughs> no, no, that's all right. Watch it, hey! No, you need to be in the We're here at Bechtel Plaza because it is the one year anniversary tomorrow of the Fukushima disaster. The food supply and women's bodies are being radiated all over the world due to nuclear power plants and nuclear weapons. <laughs> There have been studies showing that cancer rates for women uh, related to radiation is 50% higher because of the radio sensitivity of women's reproductive cells. And it's even worse for children. Right now the effects of Fukushima are all over the world. And right now on this anniversary this week, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission approved the first nuclear plant in 30 years. And the Obama, the Obama administration is providing $8.3 billion in loan guarantees for this nuclear plant. So here, um, David, Kubrick, a longtime activist against the nuclear industry, is going to say a few words about what's going on. Yeah! Hi, thanks everyone. It's um, quite an honor and privilege to be here. While marching very recently, there was a chant about reproductive rights of course a made major battlefield and what reproductive right is more important than the right of women to bear babies that are born healthy born with all their limbs that are born without cleft palates and all the crimes that emerge from radiation and chemicals as well but the toxicity that is raining down on us as a matter of conscious choice by the authorities, and it's more than the 1%, though it begins there. There is a mentality on the, this planet of the conquest of nature, of the subjugation of nature, that means fundamentally it's more important to reproduce capital than it is for the ability of humans to reproduce people. For that's what it comes down to. The health of the economy what is euphemistically, or obscenely rather, called uh, growing the economy on limited resources means literally a war against people. There's no other way to understand it. And it's important to know that the people we're up against 
know that. They've been doing it for hundreds of years. They've been doing it at least since the conquest. Because when you subjugate nature, you subjugate women, you subjugate people of color, it's all the same process. We know the grim story. I'll repeat a little of it because it's interesting to see the ways and wherefores and hows of how this war crime, this genocide, this weapons of mass destruction, let's call it what it is, only it's coming from our government and others. There's a government industrial terror being carried out against us and more importantly our children and our grandchildren, etc., etc. That's a crime against, that's genocide. And they know what they're doing as they poison the airs, the waters, and the places. But because of this need to supplement nature. In the 19th century, there was a, a very important chemist who I think is a kind of forebearer of I.B. Farben, whose proposal, and got a lot of support, was to create synthetic <coughs> soil. Every nuclear plant produces, we have 70, approximately 70 of them, Every one produces four to 500 pounds of plutonium each year. Against that four to 500 pounds of plutonium, one pound of plutonium, if equally distributed, can give love cancer to every inhabitant of the earth. Of course, under capitalism, there is no such thing as equal distribution, so can, we can relax a little. But we're up against a powerful, not invincible, but determined enemy that doesn't care that they are poisoning our offspring. And who does that bear down on but the women? Those who bear the babies, those who mostly, the way our societies are arranged, care for the sick, those who give comfort, those who are the nurses, the mothers, the women who give breast to their child, even knowing that there may be plutonium in it because there's plutonium in all eggs and all breast milk that's been sampled around the world. Those are chromosome breakers. I don't want to bum you out. The thing is, we have history on our side, we have heart on our side, and basically we have no choice because it is a war to the death. Ours and our children, unless we can stop this monstrosity, this war crime. Thank you very much.